It's Madden NFL 24. And coming up, it'll be no holds barred between AFC North rivals. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. All that and more coming up next. Autumn has arrived in the mid-Atlantic region of the U.S., and it is a glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Today, we've got a good one on tap in the AFC North, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But Charles, this Ravens team has been so successful in recent years, 10 or more wins in four of the last five seasons. What do they need to do to take that next step? Well, the way the Ravens have played for a lot of their franchise history, we know the defense is going to take care of business. They're going to keep you in every ball game. I think on offense, can they throw the ball more proficiently, especially out wide to the receivers, and make plays that way to continue to open up running lanes for a team that we know loves to move the ball along the ground. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they come off a 7-10 season a year ago. Not great, but not a total loss either. And you think there are building blocks in place. They are there. Look at what they did last year. Their pass defense was number five in the league. Their rushing attack, sixth best in the league. They have players. They have a system. They just need to put it all together. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And the Cleveland offense ready to go to work behind the three-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Watson in his second season now as a Brown, number seven overall. Just six games played for Watson in his debut season with the Browns, which really limited how much he could step into the franchise quarterback role for the team but he gets a full slate to do so this season. Remember, his last year in Houston, over 4,800 yards. They expect excellence from him. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. First play from scrimmage, Watson gonna throw it. That's into the hands of Donald and Peoples-Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The touch and time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Watson looks to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. No score after one on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. To throw is Watson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Oh, 
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Watson now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Corey Bohorquez now. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made him the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa on the tackle. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Not too much to show you in terms report. of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. They'll start with the option. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Off the option, here's Edwards. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Jackson. For the third quarter of action. So these two teams will take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium as we're through three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Back now in Baltimore. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Jackson. Connecting with Andrews. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Second down, eight yards to go. Here's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A big play looming on third down. They'll try and run for it with Hill. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Jackson, option right, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This from Tom Dempsey range here. And he hits the upright, but it caroms in anyway. But plenty of distance there as he banks it in. Well, I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles, not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it, and they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. Well, this one probably was fun down at the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.